Welcome YouTube and welcome back to all my buster buddies. Hey, it's your big kahuna here, Brad, and this is Brad's Board and Busters, your textile art channel. This is a channel where we have fun with fabric. And on this episode, we are going to be tying up what I call a wigwag solar system. Yeah, this is a kind of a design that I have kind of mashed up a couple of different patterns and created something kind of unique. So we're going to be doing that on the front of a shirt. And on the back of the shirt, I'll probably be tying up some rainbow chakra spots along the spine. And so what we're going to need for this project is a 100% cotton t-shirt, white, pre-washed, and then soaked in soda ash solution for 20 minutes, and then put into the washer and spun out so we get most of the moisture out. I've done that already, and that shirt's waiting for me on my work table. What you're going to need also for equipment for this is a washable marker and then a string to help create a crescent shape on the shirt. Also to draw some small circles, I'm using the bottom of my kite string spool. And then also we'll be tying up uh, with some sinew and you'll need a scissor to just trim the sinew. And I think that'll about cover all the materials. Oh, and also a variety of rubber bands just to scrunch up uh, the remaining part of the shirt that we haven't tied with sinew. All right, so once you get all that put together, it's time to go work on the shirt. So let's go do that. Okay, Busters, so got my shirt uh, already turned inside out. So you want to do that. And now we're going to center the shirt. So get your washable marker. Okay, now separate the front from the back and center the front. Take and pull the bottom sleeve into the top. And now, now's a good time also mark the center of the back. All right, smooth out all the wrinkles. Try and pull some of the fabric out from underneath it. All right, fold it in half. Mark that. All right, now take your string, tie a loop in it to fit it onto your washable marker. And we're going to create a radius here for what will look like the planets in the solar system. So come out pretty far. Give yourself maybe a couple inches away from the stitching on the sleeve. I mean, just eyeball across from that. Because this will vary in length for whatever size shirt you're using. One other thing that you'll need for this, and I forgot, 
Uh, you'll need a protractor. Let me grab mine. I forgot it. All right, got the protractor. And we'll make marks every 30 degrees. I told you what tools to get ready for this project. You would think I'd know everything. I've only done this a few times. I forgot, you're gonna need a ruler then as, as well as the protractor, because you wanna make marks out here on this radius. So extend your ruler out across it, and then make lines across that. This is all to lay out our little planets. So now is when we need our spool. And I'm going to lay out on here. I'll try not to get my head too much in the camera. So we're going to Start with one here and one here, so you'll set your spool halfway, you know, the, the fold of the shirt will lay on the center of this, so you'll make a half circle there and here. Okay, then you'll make full circles on these marks. And I have to stand up to do it, so I say, I'll try not to get my head in the camera. And why I like using my kite string spool is because I can look down through the center of it and see how the marks are, so I can see both this line and this line, and it kind of visually I can center it right on it so then you just lay that out and we'll do that to the rest of these locations as well Okay, that's that. And now we'll take our string again. And this is kind of up to you. You can determine how big you want the wigwag in the center of all this. And I like to give myself enough room here to add some color and all around it. So like I say, it's kind of just up to you to eyeball. So, then the next thing we want to do is tie up these little circles. So the way I do that I usually, you know, I just usually start here and just might work my way around. So this first one and the last one are easy. You just start pleating from here and work your way around. When we do these, and that's why we draw this line. We will take and fold it in half and then pleat around and that captures both sides. So you can watch me do that. Enjoy the music.
Okay, so that is all the spots tied up. Now we complete for the wigwag. Basically, it's doing more of the same that you did for these little guys. So, here we go. All right, I'm tying this up with sinew, but I don't really want to pull it too, too tight. Doesn't have to be, I'm just holding it in place. If I get a white line around the wigwag, that's fine. If I don't, that's also fine. Just more just to hold its shape. Because really, I suppose you could do this with rubber bands if you wanted to. I just kind of chose the sinew for this part of it. The rest of this, I am going to use rubber bands on. I'd say, not super tight. I want it to hold its shape. I don't want to possibly collapse it. Okay. And now if you have a pleating tool, which would help, um, let me grab, I use tweezers sometimes. And, and, and some rubber bands. Okay, so there's where a wigwag is going to go. And the more time you spend with the pleats, the nicer it'll come out. Um, you know, this isn't your typical fold for a wigwag, but I mean, it does mimic it very well. So I've had good success doing it this way. All right, so now we just need to lay out the wigwag pattern. And I usually do, this is the collar. So this would be the top. And so I usually like to put the hot colors at the top and cool colors at the bottom. Gives it that kind of sunset over water look. And I really like that. So I am going to make sure I emphasize that, which means you can let's see, I'll lay out. I think I'm going to go relatively large with the wigwag shape. I'm going inch and a half. OK, 
Okay, and we need to do that for the back side as well. I'll just kind of eyeball where you are. There. Flip that over. Okay, so that is that laid out. Okay, so there, I'll show that to you. So there's our solar system, our wigwag solar system. So now I said we're doing chakras along the spine, so let's do that. That's why we marked center of the back. Grab where the neck tag is, is usually close enough to center. And let's lay this out nice and flat. Alright, so a typical chakra pattern is usually seven points so that's what we want to try to achieve here this is an extra large so we should have plenty of room for that same thing i'm taking the kite string spool and using that as my pattern guide and here again look down through the center because we're going to divide these little points or these circles in half There's our chakras. And then we just tie them up the same way we did on the front. Okay, there's our chakras tied up. So now we just have to kind of scrunch the middle part of the shirt and tuck in the sleeve and then rubber band it. just want to make sure that these are not touching each other because they're going to be dyed different colors. So that's kind of the big challenge is just making sure they stay separate. Sink. Uh, Oh, 
Okay. I don't think we need that. Don't need that one. Do need that one. Okay. I think that's our tie up for today. All right, Buster. So here is our wigwag solar system chakra spine shirt all tied up ready for dye so let me get the table set up for our dyeing process and we will do that be right back Okay, Buster, so we're all set here for the dye. So let me go over kind of the colors I'm going to be applying because there's a lot of areas to apply dye and kind of hard to let you know each one at that moment. So I'll kind of point out what I'm using and where I'm using it. All right, so on the chakra, it'll basically be rainbow starting here at the bottom because here's our tag so i know that's the collar so it'll be chinese red uh soft orange bright yellow uh bright green turquoise deep purple and amethyst and basically the little planetoids in our solar system will be the same colors applied in the same order. And so for the wigwag, I'll be using deep purple down the spine of it. On the bottom side, where it's going to be the cool colors, I'll be doing then up next to the deep purple turquoise, and then beyond that, uh, robin's egg blue. And then on the warm side, next to the deep purple, it'll be the Chinese red. And then bright yellow on the outside. And then here, uh, beyond the, the wigwag, um, up to the little planetoids, will probably, and I've been trying to think about how I want to do this, I think I'll be doing uh, lavender, and then transition into probably the robin's egg blue and then on the other side it'll be the same thing but then around each little um, planetoid i'll be outlining that with better black and then in the body of the shirt probably be using a combination of bright yellows, maybe soft orange and Chinese red, and I may end up putting some deep purple in there. We'll see how that goes. Um, around the chakras, um, I'll probably outline those in black as well. And then like I say, maybe deep purple into reds orange and yellows so we'll see how that goes I'll, I'll when i do the colors here on the body if it's not very apparent i'll put that up on the uh, screen as i'm applying them all right so i'm going to start applying the dye enjoy the music
bit of bleeding here, I'm going to use some of the black just to kind of camouflage that. I think I'm going to put deep purple next after the lavender instead of the robin's egg blue. Then a little bit of the black. And now I think I will use the robin's egg blue here. Turn it over and work on the front side as well. So now the chakras, we do everything the same as before and we will repeat all the colors that we've applied and then our little planetoids I will actually repeat the same as the chakras in the back. So we'll start with red here and finish with amethyst up here. Hey Buster Buddies, it's your Big Kahuna here interrupting your regularly scheduled video because my camera kind of decided to just stop working at this point in the video. I need to upgrade. Yeah, the camera that I use kind of rhymes with no-go and it's just turning into that. But that's a problem for another time, not your problem, that's my problem. But let me tell you kind of what you missed. Uh, we were really close to the end anyway. Uh, so I was dyeing the front side of the shirt and uh, I had done all the chakras in the back. And so the little planetoids, I was dyeing the same colors. Then I was just uh, doing the same colors over the main part of the body of the shirt that mimicked the same thing I did on the back. And then I was done. So then at the end of dyeing the shirt, then I gave the explanation that this sits for 24 hours to cure. And once it's cured, then I was going to take it out to the laundry sink and rinse it out. So I start with cold water to rinse out the soda ash and then turn it up to hot to rinse out any dye that hasn't bonded with the shirt. Then it'll go in the laundry on a hot wash cycle and a cold rinse with detergent and Curalon, which is a professional textile detergent that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And once it's washed and dried, we'll bring it back here for the reveal. And that's all you missed. And so I will see you at the reveal. Thanks for watching. Okay, Buster Buddies, so here is our Wigwag solar system. It came out really nice. Yep. I was a little concerned about how the wigwag actually looked after I put it in the curing tub because you know how 
these colors tend to creep. The turquoise did creep because it did eat up a lot of the robin's egg blue, but uh, the yellow, actually, I thought I had lost a lot of that, but it's, it's really good. So, yeah, overall, I mean, it was a good success. I even have some decent definition in the center, so, yeah, that worked out well. The colors, the gradient from lavender to deep purple and then into the black looks good. Um, yeah, all the spots turned out well, so this turned out really good. Yep, I hope you like this one. Give it a try. It's, it's a lot of fun to do. It's a little bit of work, but it has a great result. Let me show you the back. So, yep. Yeah. The chakras turned out really well also, so that is a great success. Yep, I think overall the shirt is a nice winner. It makes a great impact. So yeah, give this project a try. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on it. And really, it helps me out too. If you like what I'm showing you, share it around. That helps me out a lot. All right, well, thanks for watching. Let's go over to the desk and we'll do our sign off. Peace out. All right, Busters, that project came out really cool. Hey, I hope you learned something new on this project. Hey, if you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming projects. And hey, if you really want to help out my channel, go to my Buy Me A Coffee page and buy me a coffee. That really helps me out. Hey, all right, thanks for watching. Love you all, folks. Peace out, baby, and go bust out some art.